the black church is the most dangerous place for a single black woman who wants to date for marriage and who wants a good husband. I'll say it again. The black church is the most dangerous place for a single black woman who uh, are dating for marriage and, and who want a good husband. I, now, I know people's going to get mad about that because people are mad about the con the, the short side did when I said the black church is full of dust is yet, yet, yet. You will hear people say how black men are leaving the church in droves. Oh, so black men are leaving the church. But we can't talk about the black men that's left at the church. I'm going to let y'all see this little short side deed, and then I'm going to read this comment to prove my point. Mm -hmm. Hold on, girl. Hold on. Bam, 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 bam. Some men love. Here go. Y'all, the black church mm -hmm. full of dust. Yes, girl. Full of dustes. Now, we didn't have the word dusted when I was coming up in the 90s uh -huh. and the early 2000s. No, girl. But looking back, full of dusties. These men, no no high school diploma, uh -uh. no college education, no. living in their mama basement, yes. sleeping in their mama basement, girl. sleeping on people's couches, no. just got out of jail. Yes, girl. Got saved. Mm. And all of a sudden... We're supposed to look at them like brand new men, mm -hmm. and they are in Christ. Mm -hmm. But just because they're saved, we should marry them. Do you know how many women marry no good men most, just because they are saved? Most black Christians. Don't do it, girls. This is why you must read 23 times the guys you might meet. Do not fall for the church dusties mm -hmm. and the church pookies and the church ray rays. The church is full of them. Run to the hills from y'all. Yes, girl. Okay, so now I'm going to read a comment. The typical comment. I'm not sure if it's a mammy or a dusty. It's probably a dusty, but it could be a mammy too, okay? I'm going to read this comment and I'm going to tell you how. Because a lot of y'all ask, how could women like Shirley Strawberry marry men like Ernestio? Huh? She praying, she's seeking God, everything on the thing. She's quoting scriptures and God this and God. How did she, how did she end up marrying Ernestio? I'm going to tell you why, and I'm going to show you why, and I'm going to show you why. The black church is the most dangerous church place for single black women. Now, am I saying they're not good black men in church? Absolutely not. But y'all forget the Bible says there are wolves in sheep's clothing. You forget the Bible says, let the wheat and the tears grow together. And where do, does the rejects always run to when they get out of jail and the, the streets get done with them? J a church. I went to a church one time and the pastor said, all the single women stand up. The whole church stood up. <laughs> then all the single men, ain't but five, they look drunk. The deacons look drunk. One was in a wheelchair that he got shot up in the street and he won a wife. Anyways, girl, it's Saturday morning. I'm up early. I've been up early working on my pre prepping for NaNoWriMo. It's happy uh, Saturday. I absolutely love you. Thank you. I adore you. I'm going to come back with Charlotte Strawberry, uh, excuse me, video. I was trying to do it last night, girl. But after I came back from dropping Lexi off at respite, I was like, girl, no, I'm too tired. I'm going to bed. I was too tired. I even left the two Michaels down here. I was like, listen, y'all. I, I, I came home. I just went upstairs. I didn't say I just went. I was exhausted. So come on right back after this video. I'm going to do that shoulder strawberry video. Be sure to uh, thumbs up and share this out. I'm also going to come back and do a little video on um, what's going on on YouTube. A lot of new things going on YouTube and how us as uh, content creators, we need to protect ourselves and we need to have backup plans. I'm sure y'all have heard of uh, Cynthia G. 
I don't know why y'all is happy because that only means, girl, you's next on the chopping block, okay? So we should not celebrate when somebody lose their channel, especially if that's their livelihood and that's how they feed their family. So I'm going to come back and talk real quick. I'm going to give you a couple of videos today. Look at that. Look at God. Ain't he good? Thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you for those of you who have helped me to get to over 200 reviews on my 23 Types of Guys You Might Meet. It is my number one bestseller book. I absolutely adore you. And thank you. And, and The Naked Wife is the next book. I am trying to get to 200 reviews. So let's get to this video, um, this comment. And I'm going to tell you why women like Shirley Strawberry marry criminals like Ernestio. Right. Read my comments all the time. I have women in my comments sharing their testimonies, how they were pushed into marrying church rejects. Huh? Remember that that girl, that pastor's daughter who married the murderer? He killed his wife. He unalived his wife and kids, I think. I don't remember if they did the first kid. Went to jail, the pastor, the black church, rallied to get him out, okay? He spent years, he got out. He married the pastor's daughter. Huh? This man killed his first wife. The black church rallied around him. And get, and you know, this wrote him letter, encouraged him to he spent his time and he get out. Now, I am not saying we should forget our loved ones that go to jail. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. That's not what I'm saying. People get in trouble. People, people, you know, people snap, all kind of stuff. That's not the case. That's not what I'm saying. We're going to forget about all of That's not what I'm saying. They rallied around her and him and got, he finally got out. He married the pastor's daughter. The pastor's daughter. Huh? The dusty pastor gave his blessing for his daughter to marry a man who unalived his wife. And I think he unalived the kids. I don't remember the whole story. So disgusting. He married her, had kids with her. Do y'all know he unalived her? And I think he unalived their kids too. He unalived the pastor's daughter, the pastor and the black church that helped him to get out of jail and da, da, da. married her, had kids with her, unalived her, unalived the kids. If I remember the story correctly, if you know, remember the story, you could tell it to me in the comments. I couldn't read it because I'm a pastor's daughter. And then call the police and say, I just unalived my wife and kids. Come get me. I had one happen right here in my in 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 one of our sister churches to be exact my father's father's church he's no longer with us so they won't know who I'm talking about but my 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 bishop my pastor my father in the faith his father in the faith okay fathers if you you need to have a father hello church you need to have somebody that can check you so I'm my father's daughter in the faith my father in the faith has a father in the faith Okay, so my father, father in the faith, he went on to glory. My father called me and said, I can always tell when something is wrong. And he called me and said, Bishop, what's going on? He said, you remember so-and-so. I said, yeah, yeah. He, on a life her in front of their three kids, But guess what? He was abusing women before he married her. She had, well, she's been complaining about him abusing her before. Hello. No, I'm not saying this is all the black church, right? Uh-uh. 
this, I'm not, that's not what, because of course I'm, I was raised up in the black church. My husband is in the black church. We go to a very prominent black church in our city, uh, pastor and first lady, they just celebrate 58 years of marriage or something like that. They've been married for, all, I mean, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful couple, wonderful, uh, black church. Okay. But there are many black church that's full of mammies and dusties and pookies and rays. And when they see women who go get that thing, you know, we're building and we're, we're going for our education. We're trying to become establishing ourselves to become good members of society so that we can take care of ourselves and, or if we have children until we meet our husbands, they try to push the, the, the dusties and the pookies and the ray rays on us because they, they're rejects. They want us to pick them up because why? They're new creation in Christ. I'm about to read this for y'all. Hmm. They're new creation. So they don't want us to look at the criminal he is, the dusty, the pookie he is, but look at, like this comment say, a diamond in the rough. Now I was going to a church after my father in the faith moved away, I was going to that church for 10 years, right? Long time. I taught Sunday school, taught Bible study. Every time the church was open, I was there. Cause you know, of course I didn't know. I was like the typical black church girl, just sitting there waiting for God to send my husband for him to sit beside me and say, God say, use my wife. Okay. Till I came to my senses. And one of the mothers sent me to go pick up her son. So I was like, sure, mother, I'll go pick him up. Because, you know, I had a car. It was just me and Lexi had a car. You know, you know how we do. We go pick up people because they ain't got no car. They ain't got no vehicle. So I drive from one city to the other city, about 30 minutes, to go pick up her son. So we're talking, we're this Sunday morning for Sunday school. We're talking, we're talking. Why the man going to tell me he just got out of jail yesterday? looked at him like and I'm not like wait a minute the church mother sent me a young pretty little young thing like myself and my little, little eight year old daughter go pick up your criminal son that just got out of jail yesterday I said okay went to church act like nothing happened he asked me out I said no thank you not interested church mother got mad at me why you think you're better than my son my son won't take you out i said well who's gonna where he gonna get the money from he ain't got no money he just got out of the jail yesterday anyways i left the church i left the church because i'm like y'all not about to do this to me and i'm sick and tired of y'all doing it and i've seen it do it seen y'all do it to many young women marrying this criminal this this rejects you know, because the men like my husband didn't come to the, the you know, the type of churches. They don't come to the little church with 50 people in the church, corner church, okay? I'm getting married, right? I go back to the church that I spent 10 years toiling in. Gave out 25, 30 invitations. Do you know nobody came to my wedding? Nobody. Nobody from that church that I spent 10 years toiling came to my wedding. You know why? Because I didn't want their rejects. They were always pushing reject men on me and I would always tell them, no, I'm not interested. Now looking back, Janice, the type of men that I wanted didn't go to the little church on the hill with 50 people. You know, the little family church we have all have the family church that I grew up, even in my father's church, even though my father moved away, the man that I liked, they didn't come to that church. They go down the hill to the church where the pastor's a lawyer and he's a prominent black man in the community. And where they got the doctors and the lawyers and the engineers and the politicians in the church. That, that's where my husband go. And that's where the type of men that I like go. But I didn't know that. You understand? I was still trying to figure this thing out. And this is why I go so hard on YouTube, ladies, to tell you, figure out what you want, right, in your husband, 
Once you figure out what you want, ladies, you must place yourself in their environment. Because the man you want is probably 9.999 other 10 times is not going to come to your church. And then our little tiny church didn't fellowship with my husband type of church. We fellowship with the other little churches around us, little brother, sister churches around, you know, storefront churches or the little church on the hill. We fellowship with each other, but we don't, we don't fellowship with them big old Baptist church down the street that has all the educated people with the money and we don't fell we don't sell us we don't uh, uh they stay down there and we still read but those were the type of men that i like not the little men in my church with the corner that just you know i, I don't like them. so when you ask how shirley strawberry how clean christian girls could get could marry to a criminal like these because of the black church mm -hmm, the black church that's why now let me go ahead and read this foolishness for y'all, okay? Jace, Jace may be a guy, you could tell, or a mammy. This is in response to the video I did. This is wrong. You know me saying the black church is full of dust. It's like Just like saying the black church is full of uh, tears or the black church is full of wolves in sheep's clothes. This is wrong. This is sensual knowledge. Read the Sermon on the Mount. You cannot take the stick out of someone's eye when you have a beam in yours. What that got to do with the dust? And you know what's funny? People don't know what a dusty is. They just know it's not attractive. But most people over here in my comments, they don't know what a dusty is. If you didn't watch the videos that I explained what a dusty is, you they don't know. How many of you know there are multimillionaires that are dusties? How many of you know there are billionaires that are dusties? People don't know what a dusty is. That's funny when I read this comments, okay? There is such a thing as a diamond in the rough. There is such a thing as a diamond in the rough. So in other words, ladies, you're supposed to dig down in the pit, in the dungeon, find this diamond in the rough, AKA this dusty, pookie, ray ray, unestablished, unprepared man, wash him, clean him up, put on some good clothes on him, good shoes on his feet, money in his pocket, put him in your house, take care of him, respect him, honor him, adore him, submit to the diamond in the rough. That's what that means. Is that, yeah, he's a dusty in a bookie, but he might be a diamond in the rough. And that's how Christian women, especially black Christian women, end up marrying men like Ernestios, because you have dusty spookies, ray rays, mammies in the church telling y'all that these necklaces could be diamond in the rough. Don't, don't, don't pay attention to the mess and the crimes and the inability to take care of himself. Don't pay attention to how he has messed up his life. Like my daddy says, pay attention to a man's life up to the part you meet him. You are to weigh everything up to the point you meet him. No, no, no. The mammoths and the pookies and dusties tell you, don't pay attention to that. Cause he might be a diamond in the rough. I think I got a I got a title for a book. Thank you, Dusty. Thank you. He might be a diamond in the rough, huh, ladies? I thought the Bible says we were the diamonds. I, where's my ruby ring? I thought the Bible says we were rubies. I thought with the Bible says we are our husband's crown. No, no, no. They don't want you to be the diamond, the ruby, the crown on your husband. They want you to be the one to fix up him and make him the prize, make him the ruby, make him the diamond, and make him the crown. So in other words, you're going to be the man. That's what this comment means. You know I know how to translate something now. Uh-huh. Let's read a little bit more. There is such a thing as a diamond in the rough. Ladies, read the word. <clears throat> Talk.
talk to God in your secret place and learn to discern the voice of the Holy Spirit. They're not praying and seeking God. If Shirley Strawberry had prayed and seek God, the Holy Spirit would have never told her to marry Ernest Steele. That pastor's daughter, that the killer, the, the, the unaliver killed Carl, he, the Holy Spirit would have never told her to marry him. Y'all not listening to the Holy Spirit. Y'all listening to your kitties. I shared the testimony how I went out with this guy. I love men in finance. It's just something about me. I just, all the men that I've loved and really like were men in finance. So I went out with this guy one time. He lives in Philly. I'm in Jersey. You know, Philly and Jersey is like here. Philly, Philly. I would date the guys in Philly, Jersey, and New York. Um, and Delaware, because they're right here. You know, it's like an hour drive, okay? Guy came from Philly. He worked down here, Prudential. Nice guy, nice chocolate guy. Went out on a date. Fine dining, by the way. And I came in, sat down, and Holy Spirit says, he, uh, he has HIV. I looked at him, ate my chicken. Smile, talked, had a good time. Got up and left. Never spoke to him again. Somebody said, well, did he have HIV? Well, if I'm listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit, why do I need to ask him or tell him to go get a test to see if the Holy Spirit is right? If you're spending time with the Holy Spirit, and you're reading your word and you're praying and you're fasting and you're seeking his face when he speak to you why don't you listen huh it's just like me and my kids if if when i when i hear my husband's voice i can tell the mood he's in right if he calls me and i i even him breathing i can tell either something is wrong excitement in his breathing or something something right because i know him I tell my husband, I know you better than you know yourself. So if ladies are listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit, a lot of these marriages, y'all would have never married these men because they're saying divorce is as bad in the church as it is in the world. So that means people who has an extra help, the Holy Spirit, they're missing it just as much as the people who don't have help of the Holy Spirit. So this Dusty telling you to listen to the Holy Spirit, that's them saying, no, 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 no. That what they're really saying is don't listen to the Holy Spirit. Because a lot of y'all that married these men from the church, y'all would have never married them. If y'all listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit, Mr. Kryptonite, oh, six, eight girl, you know I love me at all, man. He was CFO, became CEO. Girl, when I said I love that man, but I knew he wasn't right for me. I knew he wasn't right. And I did like Joseph. I ran, blocked him, changed my phone number, changed my route to job. To this day, I have a spoken to him. Last year or early this year, I was out walking at lunchtime. I go walking and I see him far far. He's 6'8". You could tell. He was... And the Holy Spirit said to me, aren't you glad you didn't marry him? Huh. So talk about listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Y'all, ladies, y'all not listening to the voice. Y'all not listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Because if you were, you wouldn't have married a lot of these men. You married. Let's read on to see what this dusty sees. This woman, me, is full of herself and needs to be quiet. Oh, I'm full of myself. I need to be quiet. I need, that's a guy, that's a dusty. I need to stop warning women about the dusties, the pookies in the church or in the world, wherever, right? We're Christian women over here. Of course, we're going to marry other Christian men. I need to stop writing my 400 page book to warn women about men and the naked wife where the, the naked wife is 300 about 300 women i interviewed christian women 
pastors, wives, deaconesses, women in the church. I need to shut up. I need to be quiet. Dust is wanting me to shut my mouth because I am sounding the alarm. Because I'm trying to save women from making a mess of your life. Ha. Huh. The, 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 the Bible talks about compel them to come. This is what I'm on YouTube doing. I'm yelling, screaming, and I'm compelling. And I'm begging women, please do not make a mess of your life. I'm begging women, ladies, your husband is the second most important decision you will make. Make sure your election is sure. They don't want me to be up here warning y'all and sounding the alarm on the dusters in the church. Come on, somebody. Huh? They want me to be quiet. <clears throat> this dusty want me to be quiet. Let's read that again. This woman is full of herself. And needs to be quiet. Uh huh. All of you without sin cast the stone. Dusty ain't got nothing to do with sin. Uh huh. We are saved through grace and not of our own set lace we boast. All our righteousness is filth and rags without sin. We like them, we're like clothes. So, in other words, overlook everything about a man and marry him. Just because he's saved. Overlook that he's a child pedialite and marry him just because he's saved. Overlook that he unalived his first wife and marry him because he's saved. Overlook he can't keep a job and marry him because he's saved. Overlook that he's, a, he's an abuser and marry him because. He's saved. Overlook that he can't take care of a wife and family and kids and marry him because he's saved. Overlook everything about him. And all you need to look at is he says he believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what that Dusty is saying. And what I'm telling you is don't overlook nothing. Count everything. Calculate everything. Calculate it. Don't overlook it. Because this is the rest of your life. This is the rest of your life. Don't overlook nothing. Let's read on to see what else this Dusty has to say. Uh-huh. If she does not shut up, God will step in because they are his sons bought with a price. So if I don't shut up and stop warning women not to marry Dusty's Pookies and Ray Rays and unalifers, God is going to step in and shut me up because they, the Dusty's Pookies, Ray's Tyrones are his son. So y'all need to overlook all of that and marry that. And if I don't shut my mouth, if I don't stop writing my books, if I don't stop sounding the alarm, Huh? If I don't stop writing and preaching and yelling on the streets and on YouTube streets, warning women not to be 10 years a girlfriend, not to uh, be the naked wife, take your cookie off the table. The Leah in me, dating is for data, the husband profile. If I don't shut up and stop warning women about the wolves in sheep's clothing, God is going to shut me up. That's what this Dusty is saying. Mm -hmm. Well, may God shut you up. Okay. May God cause your tongue to cleave to the top of your mouth. Uh -huh. May God stop your fingers from typing on my channel. Come on, somebody. Let's read. Uh huh. The blood of Jesus. So who is the scrub here? Don't even know what a scrub means. Uh, she is. Oh, I'm the scrub. I'm the scrub because I am warning women about scrubs, pookies and rares and tyros and dusties in the church. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Because she darkens counsel without knowledge. In other words, I'm giving y'all too much counseling and too much knowledge. 
They don't want me to warn you. They don't want me to tell you to choose your husband wisely. They don't want me to tell you to choose your husband with counsel. Huh? Proverbs talk about in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. They don't want me to write these books, ladies, to warn you not to be 10 years a girlfriend, not to be the naked wife. Beware of the men you choose. They don't want me to do that. That's what he's saying. I'm darkening counsel because I'm telling you all about Dusty's book. It's a rare race. Huh? Come on, read on. <clears throat> Lady, be quiet. He want me to shut up. Those men can rise up with prison ministry. Who knows? Huh? Those men can rise up with prison ministry. And that's what they want you to do, y'all. They want you to marry potential. He might become one day, just like the church girl. Huh? Work in corporate America. Met a nice Christian dude who was sleeping on his brother's couch. Married the hoodlet. Took care of him, child. He trying to be a Christian rapper. Bought a nice little house. Had, I don't know, but four or five little boys. Beautiful babies. Well, 2000 hit. And the market crashed. She lost her job. She got her unemployment. She couldn't keep up the mortgage payment because the hoodlet was laying on the couch trying to be a rapper. She gave up paying on the house because the little bit of money she was getting, she could only afford to pay the lights, put the food on the table, and buy the kids' uniforms. Here in Jersey, where I live, kids going to public school, kids have to wear uniforms. She didn't pay the mortgage for like two years. Do you think that hoodlet got up and go get him a job? Even if it's go to work at McDonald's? No, nigga trying to be a rapper until the bank came and put a thing on the door. As a matter of fact, they put it on my door. They put it on my door because I'm on the corner for some reason. They can't find people houses. They leave their stuff at my door. You will be surprised how many evenings me and my kids is delivering packages to people. Because when they can't find their houses, for some reason, they just leave it on my steps. And Lexi came home and saw it and read it and said, Mommy, they said blah, blah, blah. I said, why? I called Mike. And um, I think that by the time I got home, the court was closed or something. So Mike called it to come to find out it's next door. The bank came and put them out. out. The U-Haul came and you should see the poor little babies bringing their little toys to go put in the U-Haul truck. Why? Because she overlooked that this hoodlet wasn't doing anything with his life. And you know what the hoodlet did? He went home to his mama and the poor girl had to go and find a two bedroom in the hood for her and her four or five sons. And you know, little black boys don't need to be in the hood. I don't even know what happened to her. Right? That's because the church told her he could become. And what I'm telling you is don't marry no potential. If he is not living his life, if he's not living his purpose, if he is not living his journey, his vision, if he's not accomplished. I don't care if he's a mechanic. At least he's a, an accomplished mechanic. He has his own business and he's working. He's making that money and he got W-2s. But what this Dusty is telling y'all is marry these criminals because they might have a prison ministry. How many men is going to have a prison ministry? I just want to know. And how are they going to get paid? Oh, no, I'm sorry. The woman will pay the bills. Mm-hmm. Huh. Those men can rise up with prison ministry. So they want you to hope in the prison ministry. Hope in what he could become. Not pay attention to what he is and what Cousin Sister Jean is. Auntie Jean is telling y'all girls, don't do it. Mm -hmm. Let's read on. I'm almost done. Okay. Life is spiritual. No, 
know it's not. Life is natural. That's another thing they tell y'all in the church. When they said, prepare to be a wife, pray, 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 read your Bible, seek your face. This is why when y'all get married, y'all don't know how to live because you prepared for spiritual, but marriage is natural. Marriage is natural. It's not spiritual. Okay? It's not spiritual. Me and Mike haven't done anything spiritual together all week. We get up, we get the kids ready to school, blah, blah, blah. One day I came home, <clears throat> I was so tired, so tired. I went to lay down. My husband wasn't feeling well. And he was here all day because he wasn't feeling well. And I went to lay down because I was tired. And he called me and said, babe, could you please bring me something to eat? Do you think I wanted to get up and get him nothing to eat? And he was home all day? No, I didn't. But I got up out of my bed and I went and made him a plate and brought it to him on a tray. That ain't got nothing to do with spiritual. That That's natural. When we knocking boots, we doing the do, it ain't spiritual, it's natural. When he farts, it's not spiritual, it's natural. So this why a lot of Christian people have problems in their marriage because they prepare for a spiritual marriage. They didn't prepare for natural. That's why you don't save because God is going to make a way. That's why Christians don't have no emergency fund. That's why Christians don't get life insurance because it's spiritual. That's why we got fried chicken and fish dinners to bury the dead, because y'all are spiritual and that natural. Hmm? Life is spiritual. No, it's not. Life is natural. No, are we spiritual beings? Huh? Man is a spirit. having a natural experience. Mike going down to that bank, paying the mortgage. They sent me a text this week that the mortgage wasn't paid. And I'm like, I know Mike paid the mortgage. We paid on the computer. He have it set up for automatic pay. I send the text. I said, Mike, they, they sent the thing. He said, okay, let me call him. I guess some some things they're changing some things in in their system, and I guess it didn't it didn't glitch because everything all of our bills are automatic. It automatically goes out. Huh? Do you think it's spirituality that's paying the mortgage? No, it's natural money that my husband get on the train, go to New York to work for. You think my husband is sitting here talking about the law's going to pay this mortgage. No, ma'am. <clears throat> you think we're being spiritual for little Michael to go to college, talk about God's going to make a way? No, I'm saving his money. But this is what the church tell y'all and y'all believe it. No, I'm not going to blame y'all because you don't know. The Bible says you're like a lamb. This is why Auntie Shepherd Janice is here to teach y'all because y'all don't know. Uh-huh. Read them. Yes. Life is spiritual. The devil wear expensive suits and big bank accounts, too. Took you right out my mouth. Took you right out my mouth. Uh-huh. Big expensive suits. Thank God my husband don't wear no expensive suits. He get his suits on clearance. Granted, it's probably too expensive. Uh-huh. And yes, we have big bank accounts. Can pay our bills, plan for our future, send our kids in co to college, uh, bury our loved ones. Hmm. We don't have to fry chicken to bury our loved ones. Huh. We don't have to pass the orphan plate to bury our loved ones. Because 
we're living a natural life and things naturally happen. Didn't I tell y'all? Come on. Come on. We almost done. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You can, you can tell they're broke. Anytime you hear people mention big, big bank accounts, they're broke. They ain't got nothing in their bank account. Mm -hmm. Ladies, don't run after money. It will cost you. Well, has it caused black women to marry men that ain't got no money? Huh? Hmm. <clears throat> Don't run after money. It will cost you dearly in a lie, but you won't be fooling anybody. Girl, please. Your sins will expose you. And oh, what sins? Huh? What sins? The Bible says the born again believer's sins has been blotted out. Didn't you say that up there? All of our sins. Come on, somebody. You confuse. You mixing up scriptures. You don't know what the Bible says. God does not dime us out. Look at David and Bathsheba. Who did God write him out to? Prophet Nathan, lady, take the warning and shut up. Come on. I'm Prophet Nathan. Huh? I'm Prophet Nathan. And look at the destruction that happened in David's life because of Bathsheba. Nah, you want to bring up Bathsheba, but you don't want to talk about the price David had to pay for Bathsheba. But ladies, these are the lies they tell y'all in the black church. I can't say nothing about the other churches because I don't know. Okay. I was raised in the black church and the women I counsel are in the black church and I'm in the black church wives group. This is why I know all this stuff. But this, these are the lies they tell y'all to get you to marry the Ernestios of this world. Right there. You see that? Right there. I love you. I gotta go. I'll be back with a Shirley, another Shirley video. I know I'm behind, but I'm trying to catch up. Read. If you don't have two or three types of guys you might meet, you need to read it, boo-boo. <laughs> Excuse me. Read it. Before <clears throat> you choose one of them miglets, hoodlets, and marry a hoodlet based on potential, make sure you read 23 Thousand Guys. Take the husband profile course, which I'll be offering next year. I love you. I have to go. And please stop being 10 years a girlfriend. Please take the cookie off the table. And please do not choose a husband that will make you the naked wife. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye. <clears throat>